In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an Amazon Fire tablet to create an at-a-glance display with a motion sensor to help you keep up with upcoming Agile tariff prices. For this, we'll be installing Google Play Store. It sounds simple, but it isn't on Amazon's Fire tablets and the fully kiosk app launcher to display the Octopus Watch app. If an Octopus Agile electricity monitoring app isn't relevant to you, you can apply the same principles in this video to any other Google Play Store app. For example, this Tardo app for my smart heating system. Interested? Let's check it out. If you're on the agile time of use electricity tariff, the wholesale price changes every half an hour. Checking when the cheaper prices are can help you save more money on your electricity costs and help reduce CO2 impact. However, getting your phone out every time you want to do this can be cumbersome and creates another step to engaging with the dynamic pricing. It'll also drive your other half crazy who already thinks you look at agile electricity prices too often. I'm currently looking at my year on the Agile tariff, my price per kilowatt hour of electricity compared to my previous tariff which was Go, and a fixed tariff, and whether I'll be staying on Agile. If you're interested in finding out more about this video, you can click that subscribe button with notifications for free so you don't miss out. Using a spare fire tablet, or one bought on a Prime Day offer, with the free fully kiosk app launcher provides a cheap, slick way to keep an eye on these prices at a glance. Amazon tablets are great tablets, but they are geared up to promote Amazon services, and this includes the Amazon App Store. Whilst this does offer a number of apps, you'll run into issues trying to install any Google apps, including the Google Play Store to add apps to your tablet which you've already installed and used on your Android phone. Fire tablets run a custom version of Google's Android operating system called Fire OS, and by following a few steps you can get around this to install Google Play Store. And that's what I'm going to show you now. Firstly, it's useful to know which Fire tablet generation you're using so you can select the correct files to download, which I'll come on to shortly. You can find this out by dragging down from the top of your device to open the quick actions bar and then tapping on the settings icon. Scroll down to and tap on device options, which will then show you which device and generation your tablet is. Another thing you'll need to do is go back to the settings drop down and tap on the security and privacy option. You'll see an option apps from unknown sources. Make sure that this option is allowed. Now we need to install the individual APK files available on APK Mirror, which is a trusted source for free APKs and I've linked these URLs in the video description box below. The first APK file we need to download is the Google Account Manager. If you're using a Fire HD 8 purchased after October 2018, a Fire 7 purchased after 2019, or a Fire HD 10 purchased in or after 2019, your tablet will be running Android 6 or above. The link you'll want to click on is 1A in the video description. If you're running a tablet purchased prior to these dates, your tablet is still using Android 5. The link you'll want to click on is 1B. Once you've clicked on the APK link relevant to you, download it in your device by tapping on the download APK button. Don't worry too much if you've downloaded the wrong version. You can always update the app after installing Google Play Store later. A download notification will appear at the bottom of your display. Tap OK to begin the download. Once the download is complete, you'll see a tick in your notification tray in the top left hand corner. For the moment, don't open this or any of the downloads, but leave the notifications untouched in your tray. Next, we need to download Google Services Framework by tapping on the number 2 link in the video description, and again tap on the download APK button. Thirdly, we need to download the Google Play services. If you bought your Fire 7, Fire HD 8 or Fire HD 10 tablet after June 2019, you'll be using a device with a 64-bit processor, so you'll want to tap on the link under 3A in the video description. If you have a Fire 7 tablet bought prior to June 2019, in other words an 8th generation device or older, you'll need the link under 3B. Finally, we'll need to download Google Play Store itself, and you can do this by tapping on the number 4 link and downloading the latest version of the file. Once you've downloaded all 4 APK files, you'll be able to see them listed in your notifications bar in time order by swiping down. How you install these files is very important, so start by tapping on the notification at the bottom of the list. The installation process will begin, and tap install at the bottom right of the screen to continue. Once installed, tap Done rather than Open. Repeat the process for the other notifications moving up the list in time order. 
Once all four files have been installed on your tablet, you'll need to complete the process by restarting your Fire Tablet by holding down the power button and tapping Restart. When your Fire Tablet has restarted, you should be able to see the Google Play Store app now available on your home screen. Tap on this and follow the prompts to enter your Google account details. Once set up, you'll then be able to install your chosen Agile app. I've chosen to use Octopus Watch app. You'll need to enter your API login details again here. If we were to just leave things here, you'd still be able to use the tablet to check the current times via the app, but you'd need to unlock the display each time, hardly an at-a-glance device. Here's where the Fully Kiosk app launcher comes in. You can download the Fully Kiosk browser APK by tapping on the number 5 link in the video description box below, which will take you to their website. The APK file you'll need is the one labelled for Fire OS. Tap on this and download the file. Once downloaded, you can go ahead and open and install it. Once installed, tap open. It'll initially take you to the quick start settings screen, but I'm going to ignore this and instead swipe right and then tap settings. First thing we'll need to do is set up Fully Kiosk to launch the Octopus Watch app. To do this, tap on Universal Launcher and then toggle Show Launch on Start. Next, tap on the Select Items to Show. Add application in the bottom left hand corner and then select Octopus Watch app and tap OK. Go back and next we're going to set up the screensaver to prevent burning. Tap on screensaver plus and then screensaver timer. I tend to leave this at around 10 seconds. But hang on a minute, I said it was going to be an at a glance device. For that we need to set up motion detection so you don't even need to touch your device to find out the current and next few upcoming prices. To do this, go back, scroll down and tap on motion detection plus and then toggle the enable visual motion detection to on. The other options I like to toggle on are pause when fully in background, turn screen on on motion and exit screensaver on motion. Lastly, I'm going to go to the power settings and set a wake up and sleep time, again to prevent burning. And hey, the fact that I'm even setting this up means I care about my electricity use. It doesn't need to be on when we're asleep. I'm going to select 6am and midnight for the wake up and sleep times respectively. It will prompt you to allow Fully Kiosk to have some additional permissions for it to work properly. You can now go back to the Fully Kiosk home screen, open up the Octopus Watch app and position your tablet in an easy to see, useful location. I find a device stand helpful, but you can always choose to mount it on the wall if you prefer. Depending on the location of your power connector, you'll need to change the orientation of the screen in Fully Kiosk. You can do this in the settings by tapping on Device Management and then Screen Orientation. For my tablet, I'm going to select Reverse Portrait, then tap on Full Screen Orientation Globally. Now, an extra bonus feature which may help you get away with leaving a tablet out on display with the other half is to replace the boring blank screen with your most memorable pictures and the first time you fell in love with Agile being paid to use electricity. To do this, go to Settings in the Fully Kiosk app and tap on Screensaver Plus, Screensaver Playlist, and then select the files or folder you want to use as your screensaver. If glancing at your device is still too much effort, depending on your device, you can always ask Alexa about your electricity prices. Alexa, ask Octopus what the cost of electricity is right now. Right now at 11.34 p.m. you are paying 14.33 pence per kilowatt hour and from 12 a.m. to 12.30 a.m. you will pay 13.41 pence per kilowatt hour. For this you can install the Octopus skill in the Amazon Alexa app and I've dropped in some common phrases you may wish to try out in the description box below. If you've enjoyed this video feel free to check out the watch next video or some of our other videos which are appearing on your screen right now. If you found this video useful please do like it and subscribe to our channel to keep up with new content we'll be uploading. If you have any questions or thoughts be sure to drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.